Yan pops up from the blanket and shuts off the alarm. When they wake up, she tells the person who's clutching onto her real tight with his head on her. Shungook, babe, just give me five more minutes, please. When no more snow snack, care baby, or else I'm gonna be late for work. And you're also late for before she finishes her sentence. John Luke Smith. Last night, he didn't call me by his name. You called him. He said this last sentence in a deep voice. She brushes and slaps. Wait, cook, don't start in the morning. Saying this, she slightly pushed him and ran to the bathroom. John Luke, they bathe his butt together. Before she shut the door, he rushes and goes inside. John Luke and Uin have been in a relationship for three years. They started to love each other at university. After graduating, Wayne found a well-paying job and used her income to buy a house where they currently reside together. Wayne's parents reside in a different city. As she moved here for her studies, unfortunate enough, she secured a job here, and she has not yet informed her parents about her relationship with Chungo. As she is waiting for him to secure a job. Once he does, she plans to proudly introduce him to her family, hoping they will accept him. Jungkook is a person who longs for love and affection. Due to his parents' divorce, he was brought up in a hostel. His parents only provide financial support for his education and rarely visit him. In this circumstance, he meets Oyun, and he has never experienced such genuine affection from anyone else before. Ever since she came into his life, he has been feeling a whole new kind of happiness. When he told her he wanted to be a singer, she fully supported him, like taking him to audition, even took care of all his expenses. That made him feel sad because he wanted to take care of her too. So now he is actively looking for a job to improve their relationship. Queen, look, I kept your breakfast on the table. Go and eat. Chango, no. I don't want the bread key. He says as he gently her neck softly. She turns and wraps her hands around his neck and says, "Queen, we have been in relationship for three years. Whenever you got a chance, you and even now I'm sure. Don't you get bored, Chango? I never get bored, even if it's sixty years old." At Queen's office. Wayne, excuse me, ma'am. Boss, come in. Wayne, Wayne smiles. Good morning, ma'am. She placed the file on the table and said, "Ma'am, the file you asked for." Our boss glanced at the file and said, "Boss, did you think of the offer I told you yesterday? Are you willing to go and work there?" Wayne, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't want this offer. Give this to someone else. Boss. I know why you are not accepting this offer because of Chango Kai, but this is a great opportunity, Wayne. If you go and work there for just two years, you will easily get promotion. I'm saying this as a friend, not just as a boss. Wayne, I understand, man, that you are saying this for my own good. But if we go there, there won't be anyone here to take care of him. He is more important to me than anything. I'll give this offer to someone else. Wayne, thank you, ma'am. Smiles. Boss, Jamu is very lucky to get a girlfriend like you, Wayne. Wayne, I'm also lucky to get a boyfriend like you. Boss, I wish both of you can live happily ever after, just like this. Wayne nods her head happily. At office canteen, Speedy, Wayne's friend, I already know that you will say no to that offer. Wayne we'll drinks the juice while smiling at her. Sweetie, don't smile. As soon as you say no to that offer, the boss tells me to take that offer. Wayne, mm, really? That's a great offer. You said, Sweetie, shut up. I don't want to go that far. Suddenly, a girl came to the table. Girl, Sweetie, boss called you. Sweetie, roll her eyes. 
Kashmiri stood up from her chair, breathing in an angry glass in response to a teasing smile before heading to the boss cabin. When Wayne casually glanced at the clock, her eyes widened. Wayne, I forget to call him and ask about how the meet should find him. Without wasting time, she calls him, but he doesn't pick up. Wayne, why didn't he pick up my phone? Oh, maybe he could not hear it because of all that was lost. It's okay, when I get home, I'll ask him directly. Time skips. After parking the car, Wayne enters the house only to find the door locked. Realizing Jungkook has not returned home, then she uses his bag key to get in. Then she flop on the couch and decide to call him for the 15th time. Wait, is he avoiding my calls because he failed in that interview and feeling all down? She grabs her phone to look at and sends a voice message. Well, I don't know where you are right now. But you should be back home in 30 minutes, okay? She smiled as she saw her message immediately, but he didn't reply anything. So, what she thought was correct. He felt in that intrigue, that's why he didn't answer her calls. He always acts like this when something sad happens. When I know how to make my cook happy, Smith. After taking a quick shower, she puts on his favorite milk frog and then heads to the kitchen to prepare his favorite food. Then she arranged the juice bottles and candles on the table, setting the stage for the perfect candle dinner to light up his brain. I hope he will feel better when he sees his beautiful babe and this bed. But he's John Jungkook, it's not easy to make him smile. But I know exactly how to make him forget about that sadness. After a few minutes, she heard the door open sound and ran over to see a tired and sad boyfriend. Their eyes met and he was about to say something, but she cut him off with a tight hug. When it's all good, good. It's all good. I know, you gave your best. Hearing this, he quickly wrapped his hands around her, pulling her more gentle. He is so touched that she understands him even without him uttering a word. She runs her fingers through his soft earth, gently caressing his cheek, letting him know that she is here for him. He melted by a touch, felt all his stress and worries were fading away. Sham, baby, she am still caressing his hair. I love you so much. Those words are enough for her to understand he is no longer sad. Wait, I love you more, Cook. Later, he laid beside her. When, how do you feel right now? He pulled her closer to him by putting his hand between her. Jungkook, I feel like I'm the happiest person in the world. Not just because it's because I got an amazing girlfriend like you, who understands me even without saying a word. You know what, Wayne? I'm so lucky. I love you so much, baby. Wayne smiles. I love you too, Jungkook. When she suddenly remembers the candlelight dinner she set up for them earlier. I mean, oh, I totally forget about the candlelight dinner. Then he got up from the bed and went to his closet to snatch his comfy sweat pants and put them on. Then he grabbed his white shirt for her because she always likes to wear his shirt. Then he made her wear his shirt. Shangha. Come, let's eat downstairs to enjoy the candlelight dinner. My girl was for me. She smiles and tries to get up, but her legs are sore. Jung sniffs at her, expects her struggle. Jung, don't struggle, I will carry you. He carried her over there to the table where everything is set up nicely by her. 
then he carefully made a seat on the chair. A big smile came on his face as he looked at the table, decorated with his favorite food and juices, and above all the effort she puts to make him smile. Oh, you are smiling? Clapping her hands in joy. Thank God, my efforts are not wasted. Jungkook looked at Oin, his eyes sparkled with love. He could not believe how much she cared about him and showed him so much love. He wondered if she was even real because she looked like a straight up angel. He grabbed her hand and planted a cute little on her fingertips. Jungkook, my angel's efforts are never wasted. Everything you do makes me happy. Just your presence alone brings a smile on my face. He said a tear escaped from his eyes. He became so emotional because he used to be all alone before she entered his life. When Cook, you're crying. She quickly got up from the chair and wiped his tears. When this to make you happy, not to cry. Please don't cry, Cook. You know, every time you cry, it makes me cry too. Please don't cry. Hearing this, he quickly stops his tears to prevent her from crying. Chunk, no, no, I'm not crying. See. Instantly smiles for her, and she feels relaxed.